I'm Troy Kirby with MLT News with a quick look at the 2021 Washington State Legislative Session. The House Early Learning and K-12 Education Committee heard testimony on two bills related to the education crisis caused by the COVID-19 pandemic. House Bill 1121 creates an emergency waiver of graduation requirements. Engrossed House Bill 1131 creates an emergency waiver of instructional hours and days at private schools. AWSP is in strong support of House Bill 1121. It is a priority for us this legislative session. We appreciate the early action that is being taken on this bill because thousands of high school seniors and their principals, counselors, teachers, and families are anxiously awaiting the outcome. The board requested this legislation to allow for waiver of credits and the high school pathway requirements for students who are ready to move on toward their post-secondary goals, but may not have been able to meet all their requirements. Many students are struggling to meet all the credit requirements and may find that they uh, will be most successful focusing on those courses that are most relevant to their post-secondary goals in order to complete. I want you to know we still have students uh, struggling, even though we've been in person since September 2nd. Kids are struggling with mental and physical health and just trying to cope with the many challenges of being a kid combined with the impacts of this pandemic. We want to thank you for the bill you passed last year that provided the emergency waivers. And we um, are encouraging your swift action on HB 1121 to afford those students who were went through the pandemic last year and continue to go through the pandemic this year, that same opportunity to graduate. The House Education Committee heard testimony on House Bill 1356, which would prohibit the inappropriate use of Native American names, symbols, or images as public school mascots, logos, or team names. In the center of my high school's office sits a glass case caging two presumably Indian mascots dressed in full regalia, symbolic of the defeated and extinct Native American, akin to animals in a zoo. I was that little girl that Replikanov spoke of. It makes it extremely difficult to validate my own identity when I am constantly being shown images of what I should look like or how I should act. This bill codifies necessary dialogue that will bridge the gap between tribal communities and districts, mending the broken relationships caused by the habitual silencing of the dissenting voices of Indigenous students in our educational systems. My concern is in the drafting of the bill and the possible limits or negative impact this could have on a blossoming relationship between my district and the Spokane Indian tribe. In section two, the bill offers an exception on the use of Native American names, symbols, or images for public schools located within or with enrollment boundaries that include portions of Indian country. The Spokane Indian tribe is just up the road, 20 miles away from our district, and as written, the subsection would not apply to us, forcing the district to make changes that take effect next school year. And that's just the issue I wanted to raise. I'm here to voice our strong support of House Bill 1356 and the tens of thousands of Native students it will um, empower. This bill is about making right something that should have been fixed long ago. As a coach of 33 years, I can give you firsthand accounts of how careless and often ugly misrepresentations of Native peoples um, harm students, their families, and communities. And not just Native students, but all students who are set up to perpetuate this harm without knowing um, what they are doing. These mascots often do no honor to the people they represent. This bill offers a reasonable solution to the problem. At the same time, this bill empowers Native communities communities to lift up symbols that represent our tribes accurately and with honor. The dehumanization of my very well-being as a Native American is far from uncommon. The impacts of settler colonialism has had on the attitudes towards our identity still affect us today. Most importantly, it affects our youth and how they view themselves. We are seen as less than human. We are not your costumes nor are we your mascots. We are not your warrior or your medicine man. You cannot smudge away our identity with counterfeit healing kits, and you do not control us. Thank you for watching the Daily Legislative Report by MLT News, covering the 2021 legislative session.